Well, we've gotten great feedback to our pilot segment of Lewis on morality, or also as, as I think we're going to be knowing it, morality with motomity. Mm. Tons of emails about it, and we'll get to them at the end of the show. But I want to, in the interest of giving this another shot and seeing if people are interested, I want to present Lewis with another moral dilemma. And this is, of course, the trolley problem, which we're all very familiar with. We, we may be familiar with it. And the premise is this. A trolley is running out of control down a track. In its path are five people who have been tied to the track by a mad philosopher. You, Lewis, could flip a switch which would send the trolley down a different track, saving those five people. Unfortunately, there's one person tried to, tied to the track. That person would die if you were to flip the switch, but you would be saving another five people. What do you do? Can I have like detailed character bios for all the uh, people involved? No. Yeah. Is that what it would come down to for you? Well, in other words, are you saving five Nazis and killing an innocent man? man? That would influence you. It would, yeah. Okay, but let's assume that all people are of equal good standing. Okay. Um, I think I'd have to flip the switch. You would do it. And, and that would be a morally justified, it would be morally right, you would not be doing anything wrong. Well, if I don't flip the switch, I'm letting five people die. Good Samaritan type of thing. You're not acting in the interest of saving those five people. I am acting in the interest of saving those five people. You know, if you let the train just keep going, I'm saying, without right. flipping the switch. Right. Okay, but let me because, modify. Because the switch is available to me, by not pulling the switch, I'm letting more people die. Okay, let me put it a different way. What if the trolley is hurtling down the track towards five people? You're on a bridge over where the train is going to pass. There's a, a fat guy next to you. Mm -hmm. And by pushing the guy off, he would land in front of the train derail it safely, make it stop. You would save the five people, but the fat guy dies. Do you push him over the edge? Yeah, I've heard this one before. That's tough. Um, Why is it different than before? Is Either it, is way, it the same mad, Is it the same mad philosopher responsible for tying these people to the track? Everything's the same, except instead of flipping a switch, you're actually pushing a guy over the edge. Why is it different? It's the same scenario. You're acting yeah. to kill one person. Right. Right. You're not as sure this time. Well, it's a bit more uh, involved when you have to physically push the, the man yourself. But the reality is that that's in your head. Flipping a switch that leads to the killing of someone is really the same as pushing someone over the edge, morally, isn't it? I think uh, it's a little bit different. You, you're not alone in this. The, I, the, yeah. If you look at the, the studies... The act of doing it is, is different. The number of people that will flip the switch is much higher than the number of people mm -hmm. that will push the fat guy over the bridge. Yeah. I mean, how, what do you think about this, Natan? What, um, what's the way to determine? There are different opinions about what the right moral move is here. What's your sense of what is the barometer that we should be using here? Um, well, obviously, um, the studies show what people would actually do. It's, it's much more difficult to shove the fat guy down because, as Lewis says, it's much more involved. But... Um, but the I, I, don't, I don't know that there's an objective way to solve this problem. My thought on this is by flipping the switch, you are, you are acting in a way that is going to kill someone that would not have died had you done nothing, okay? Whereas you aren't responsible for those five people that are already on the track. You would be responsible. In other words, you are acting. This is kind of like the, would it make sense if there's five people who need organs and one healthy person to kill that person and give the five sick people the organs to save their lives? You're actively putting right. a you, decision. Right, you just let fate run its course. Right, but mm -hmm. you made the argument that, is it really fate? If you're there and you can save the five people, maybe that's fate, right. if you believe in fate. What I would say is that I think the reason why people are, are less inclined to push the fat guy off it's really because after they'll, they'll be traumatized and feel like they're murderers it's probably more related to the guilt of having committed a crime whereas with the switch even though like you're saying it's morally equivalent it doesn't feel like you're committing a murder because yeah. all you're doing is flicking a switch because you're somewhat detached but it seems to me like it's completely bs to, to convince yourself of that yeah. it, they either have to of both course, be right or you know both I, be wrong. we can we can talk about this all day but who knows what you would really do if the if if that were to happen that's right that's right all right well let's take a break make sure to like the david pakman show on facebook facebook.com slash david pakman show 
We'll be back after this. I want to talk about new reports that are being considered by the National Enquirer that the David Pakman show was in some way cavorting with Osama bin Laden before his death. Back after this. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. <laughs> 